Hello everyone and once again welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about IO stat command. What does it do? How to install it? What is the package of it? What are use cases of it? So this sort of thing we are going to discuss today. So guys if you are new to my channel so please do like, share and subscribe. So let us begin. So guys first of all let us keep this thing in mind that if this package is not installed in operating system we can install like with the command yum install sys stat this is the particular package for this command so not only this but sys stat commands brings multiple other commands which are used for system analytics let us see what package is installed rpm dash qa pipe grab sys stat this is the package now if we want to check like what are the particular directories files and binaries which are created by this rpm so let us see rpm dash q l and after that the package name if we define we will get to know like what are the particular packages and other commands are made available so guys if you see this is the particular uh, like location usr bin so all the files which are available here like cifs iostat iostat mp stat pid stat sad f sar and then after tap stat so tap stat so these are the particular commands which are made available by the single package right but rather than discussing all other things today we are going to discuss about iostat this is the command which we are going to discuss today so what does it tell so guys this is very very important for interview purpose like how many disks are associated you, you can check here dev xvd this is the very first uh, like disk here tps like transition per second then after read per second write per second kb read per second and kb write right so these sort of things are here these, these sort of things are available moreover this is another disk we have xvdb because this is secondary disk that's why the particular states which you are seeing here these are lesser right moreover if you want to increase it so we can run a command seq sequence like we can type some data and after that we can send this output to slash mnt and maybe lock.txt file i can run the process in background in order to ensure that my terminal will get free now if i run iostat command so i'll see some different uh, like stats here if you see earlier this was this now this is this right moreover earlier it was 4 to uh, like 4.24 it is something else read is reduced write is increased same thing goes here right right so now what we are going to do here, let us say if we have to check I O stat iPhone X empty, this, these are the particular options to check in real time and exact uh, format. Let us say I want to print the stats of every single second for 11 times. So this is what we, we can check here. Like this is the particular read request, write request, read, request, read request per, per second. So these sort of components we can read out from this particular stats. Moreover, this is not only telling, but it is telling about like CPU utilization, what amount of CPU is being utilized by a user, nice value, if there is any process which is running with any priority system, what is IO weight going on, steals value and ideal. So this sort of value we can figure out in case if we want to check the IO stat. Moreover, IO stat is the particular command to check only disk related stuff so we can check here every single second it will keep on printing some information here for us and moreover guys we will have to check all the devices whatever are available and uh, the particular devices where data is being written that particular value will be written here so if you see xvda this is the particular device if you see so X, XVDA like uh, this particular is zero, this particular is zero. Why it is so? Because the operation which currently is going on that is going on on XVDB. Why do I say so? So if you check here, so if you check here, so there is a particular disk known as adapt slash XVDB. This is mounted on less MNT folder. And if you remember, so I executed this command to print these many numbers into this particular directory which is available on log slash txt right guys so this is saying that no space left on device let me check once again df hyphen capital th so if you see like all the space is consumed here 
what I can do here is rm dash rf slash mnt and log.txt this file I can remove and once again in order to perform the same practical once again what I can do here is I can run the same command again okay this is the command seq once again I'm going to run this because I'll have to generate some random data in order to check whether it is working properly or not xmt 1 and 1 1 if you see here once again you will see like right like read mb write mb and moreover guys if you see I can run a particular command cat then after I can read or uh, maybe I can run a command tail minus f slash mnt log dot txt in background this particular command I can run but guys if I run this particular command then I shall not be able to perform any operation on this particular terminal because numbers are being written and if you see disk, uh, disk space is being consumed here right guys so what we are going to do here one more thing I would like to tell you we can read iostat main pages so what are the particular things which we see as output of iostat command first of all this is going to report central like report central processing unit which means CPU statics and input output statics of the particular devices and the partitions right synopsis what are the particular command syntax could be here iostat hyphen c hyphen d hyphen h k and so many others now what are the particular values do we see as part of cpu utilization like user so the percentage of cpu utilization that occurred while executing at the user level application nice so the percentage of cpu utilization that occurred when executing the user level with nice priority system iostat like iowate so it this particular is really critical guys because right now we are in we are in iostat command and the iowate command is being like explained here show the percentage of time that the cpu or cpus were idle during which the system had an outstanding disk io request so that will uh, that will be displayed under io uh, like iowate still so the percentage of time is spent in in a voluntary uh, wait by the virtual CPU or CPUs while the hypervisor was serving another virtual processors. So this sort of information, this information will definitely be made available only in case of if you are working with any virtual machine. This particular uh, value will not appear within like in case of any hardware device. Right guys? This is existed. Why it is so? Because disk is already full. We can run the same command again. What else we are going to see here? So guys, we need to understand what is this TPS. TPS in, uh, means trans, uh, like transaction per second that were issued to a device. So that will be explained by TPS. You can check how many number of transactions are issued to a particular device. BLK read per second, like how many blocks are being read per second. By default, the block size is 512 KB. So that will be complete mathematical formula which we will have to implement. Then after block return per second, block read per second in KB or in MB the total number of blocked kilobyte megabyte read so then after RS so RS means the particular number of after merges or read request completed per second for the device so read request per second write request per second like now what is this like sectors per second how many sectors are being read per second like R read sectors write sectors RQM now what does this mean guys uh, like request merged per second that were queued on to the device like if multiple request uh, multiple uh, processes are requesting same sort of data and that is to be written to that disk that can be merged here so this sort of information you can read here moreover guys if you want to talk about here like R A R Q. now what does that mean guys so like average size like read request average size then after other stuff is here like write like await like the average time that is being spent by individual request to write data to that particular disk this sort of information we can figure out so i'll suggest you to go through the particular main pages once aside to this we have one another command that is known as dstat if you type in dstat command so this is also going to tell you very like this interface is really interactive really beautiful interface like total uses how much total do uses do we have how much idle this is to telling total uses this is about disk total this is network in fact this is going to include like network send and receive bytes as well this is going to tell about paging then after system so everything it is telling you but 
if you see here it is telling like how many read and write bytes per like per like per second happening here on this particular device moreover if not like this you can define like d stat hyphen d so it will print the particular information of disk only so this sort of information as well you can figure out with the help of d stat command device. not only i stat but de definitely guys even d stat command is used to check the disk out utility and the output outcome of disk so these are the particular information which i wanted to share with you guys today in this video so guys thank you so very much for watching this if you are new to this channel so please do like share and subscribe and please uh, do not forget to comment your questions so i shall be able to answer those within coming videos thank you so very much have a good time happy learning